once i saw that i immediately joined tfs and the tfs led to tpa the tpa led to ip and here i am your master practitioner so yeah so it's it's been a wonderful journey so far and every time i'm doing a handwriting analysis you know people are comparing me to an astrologer to a palm reader they are completely blown away and astonished at what the science is all about so there was a new branch manager who had just joined and he'd come for a courtesy meeting to me and he got something handwritten so it was a 10 minute discussion that was supposed to happen can you believe that discussion actually went on to 45 minutes because before i read what was written i actually saw his handwriting and i saw a lot of sensitivity to criticism i saw a lot of irritation i saw a lot of uh, you know low self esteem and i was just having that conversation with him and it was almost as if his jaw dropped he said i'm meeting you for the first time how do you know all this about me so for my 30 day program i am currently charging 11000 plus gst and for my 90 day program i am charging 75000 plus gst wow yeah that's equivalent to the fees of our ip program so can you see that one client settles all your investment to it so anirudh thank you for inspiring all of us thank you for being an amazing person yourself and thank you for acknowledging that this actually helped you first and then you actually started helping others so that's a beautiful thing which i am going to take back from this conversation so i want to introduce uh, a person to you who is very special to me you know why because when you become a trainer when you become an established coach you know you stop learning but this person you know i happen to just go and you know as priti said you know you just keep showing up i never say no to any of the invitations i get to come and talk about handwriting so i went to another coach uh, community and uh, a dear friend and i just talked about handwriting that day and i have this wonderful man who actually said okay i want to learn this you know even though he is established himself as a coach he already has a community he said i want to learn from imran so this really speaks a lot about you i always believe a best of a coach or a trainer or a teacher is one who is also a best student so if you don't stop learning that means you are going to become amazing and i'm so happy to have you with us and i'm no i know this that your community is blessed to have you because you are an amazing student i'm sure you're amazing a teacher all all together you know why because you're always learning so everybody let's say hello to mr anirudh there so uh let's bring in anirudh welcome anirudh and thank you so much for being such a huge inspiration uh, personally i look up to you because i have seen many coaches and trainers who stop learning because they think they know everything now they have their own students why should i go become student of another trainer but you broke that for me and you showed up and you did it and you know what you not only participated but you participated all out like wholeheartedly i told you to go do this he who went and did this i told you to do analyze you did and you i said okay you create your own coaching system you actually did that so thank you for being an amazing you know you know student and also an action taker so anirudh tell us a little bit about yourself everybody say hello to anirudh there so anirudh I, where are you from and little background about you and yeah. why writing yes so first of all thank you imran this platform has really been amazing you know just bringing all of us together and giving us this platform to actually share what we are doing is is truly inspirational so thank you thank you thank you so guys i am anirudh malpani i am an anxiety busting specialist and energy healer and a certified handwriting analyst <clears throat> i help my clients decode their subconscious mind through the use of various modalities and i am on a mission to help 1 million entrepreneurs overcome their mental challenges so like preeti mentioned i have also been very fascinated with handwriting right from the very beginning and i had no idea what it was so when i joined my family business imran every person since the time i have joined my business i have not recruited without seeing their handwriting wow and there was something which would attract me i had no idea what it was and Uh, like it happened you know you would you would come for uh, a talk in chitesh's community i missed that talk i was not there for it fortunately i got the recording and generally i would not go back and see that recording you know you know we have 
tons of recordings with us all the time but we really don't go back we always feel acha recording hai to dekh lenge baad mein kabhi dekh lenge aur baad mein kabhi aata nahi hai so i don't know what got me inside to see it <clears throat> once i saw that i immediately joined for the tpa and then uh, sorry tfs and the tfs led to tpa the tpa led to ip and here i am your master practitioner thank you so yeah so it's it's been a wonderful journey so far and every time i'm doing a handwriting analysis you know people are comparing me to an astrologer to a palm reader they are completely blown away and astonished at what the science is all about so you know it's it's very very inspirational when you when you see that there are things that are happening and changing in people's lives and you know the funny thing that's happening now every time a sample is coming in front of me anything which is written is coming in front of me i'm actually not reading that i'm actually analyzing it before i read it <laughs> so there was a new branch manager who had just joined and he'd come for a courtesy meeting to me and he got something handwritten so it was a 10 minute discussion that was supposed to happen can you believe that discussion actually went on to 45 minutes because before i read what was written i actually saw his handwriting and i saw a lot of sensitivity to criticism i saw a lot of irritation i saw a lot of uh, you know low self esteem and i was just having that conversation with him and it was almost as if his jaw dropped he said i am meeting you for the first time how do you know all this about me so that was really really amazing so thank you so much for you know introducing this science and i feel really blessed that using the power of energy healing and handwriting analysis i've seen phenomenal transformations in my clients so i'll share about that a little more but before i do that i want to talk about how graphotherapy has actually helped me please before i joined uh, the the tfs there were certain areas of in my life you know where i was not able to pinpoint even after doing a lot of handwriting uh, a lot of healing i was not able to specifically pinpoint that what is the problem so there was in my handwriting there was irritation there was low self esteem there was temper there was procrastination so all of these things and when i started writing graphotherapy there was a lot of calmness and peace the first few days were very challenging because you know writing the squiggles and all of that it was it was really challenging and it looked very simple when you start but when i actually got down to doing it it was it was really really challenging but then as things started progressing and i did the 21 days and then you know it a lot of peace and calmness started coming in and there was an internal dialogue which started to get initiated i don't know if others feel the same way or not but while you're writing graphotherapy there is an internal conversation which starts getting stirred there are points which start coming up in the four you start thinking about certain things and my clients who i'm facilitating they have also felt the same way they have shared that you know they write even though now they some of them are in the 90 day they don't write the experiences other than every you know 6 days or uh, but they start write and they write a line and send it to me that this was the feeling today this was the feeling today So yeah so really really amazed and the conversations that have come up with my clients have been deeply personal so I'll share an example there was a, a lady who's part of a community and she's a coach herself so she started it just started with a signature i just gave her certain pointers on the signature and that led to a 30 day and now she's on a 90 day with me So about 45 days down I start seeing things reversing in her handwriting and I started seeing rivers So I called her up I said is everything all right why are you distancing yourself from others And Imran even though we spoke all the while we had a conversation for the first 30 days and then the 45 days this thing never came up 
she told me that anirudh she asked me why do you say that i said no there is something wrong and i sensed that there was something wrong with her husband but i didn't say that specifically imran that 5 minute conversation turned into a 1 hour conversation she cried in that conversation and she shared that she had actually become at one point in time she contemplated suicide so you know these are the things and then when i do like uh, you know i i worked with a lot of uh, chill i worked with a lot of uh, let's say young adults and i have had people who've actually tried to commit suicide and when you when you transform that you know you start feeling the purpose of your life is actually starting to to flow and starting to come out so yeah i'm blessed to really make that difference and you know the best part about the tfs was the areas of improvement the strengths how your relationships are you know the base of everything actually starts from there and that brings you to a situation of being so mindful that i think that is where the 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 you know the the bulb on moment happens for for everyone at least it did for me amazing so i'm truly grateful to you to shilpa and also to uh, jeevan you know who's helped me who's taken me step by step every way motivating me holding me prodding me forward so really really blessed to make this difference thank you so very much thank you thank you yeah, jeevan ji is amazing yeah uh, jeevan ji is the facilitator of uh, anirudh ji and uh, what was jeevan uh, sorry anirudh ji was talking about was a, a concept which we discuss in our inner physician program called as reverse in the handwriting reverse nadi in the handwriting so that's something prompted him to have a conversation and that's how we it you know happened and one of the beautiful learnings which i want you all to get present is that remember i tell you when you become what you are selling your selling becomes easy like people buy from you without even you know asking so anil thank you for pointing it and bringing back because as a coach if you are acknowledging that imran i am actually into the healing modalities but i also wanted to have to some self reflection and thanks for the journey and you know what that's the beautiful part about you you actually chose to be okay i'll go through the process you could have actually simply said imran i understand a little bit i'm already a coach or tell me how to become a professional one you could have actually jumped it but you went through the grind and that really speaks a lot about you in fact i was actually talking about my uh, to my team saying that okay look at how anirudh actually you know forgets that he's a trainer when he's in the classroom he's actually asking questions from the perspective of a student not as a coach and that really really wins my heart so thank you so much for actually sharing that and you know tell us a little bit about you know how you're using handwriting analysis to level up with already what you're doing and this is for all the coaches and trainers if you're already practicing your modality you can also use handwriting analysis to level up your program so if you're already doing a program which you are charging a little sum here how you can go to your premium fees using this powerful sign so anirudh tell us tell us a little bit because there's so many coaches here there are so many healers and um, people who are already practicing other modalities maybe numerology maybe astrology maybe you know pranic healing so how they can use handwriting analysis to level up please sure so imran what had happened was that uh, you know after i do the healing for my clients so i'll i'll just take it like with an analogy right so say you are out of your house for one year and the house is locked when you come back you see cobwebs you see dust you see layers of dust now that's something that you cannot do on your own you need external help so you will call like an urban clap or somebody to come and clean uh, clean the house for you so that's where as an as a healer i come where the subconscious mind is concerned so i i cleanse out all the issues which are there which are which are there from this moment backwards and for this moment forward what i was doing was that i was doing regular sessions for them but then obviously it is it's an expensive proposition that they are doing four sessions in a month and all of that so i started off with the the 30 day coaching as an option for my clients to look at doing the 30 day program with me and in turn training themselves that it's like a tool that i'm giving right so one is let's say i somebody wants food so i cook the food and i give it to them healing is i cook the food and i give it to them but if i teach them how to how to eat and how to cook so basically if i make them more aware of how their subconscious mind is working and if they can you know start doing what they are supposed to do so i'll just share another thing that i've started doing 
last 4 5 days of my 30 day analysis i asked the people to mark and send it to me what are the issues according to them what went wrong in their handwriting so that brings them more aware and more they they look at the things from the perspective that okay i jumped the line there's there's something which is going below the baseline there is a loop which has come in in the in the l uh, sorry in the t or in the d so they mark it and they send it for my 90 days what i i just did i'm i'm trying this out for the first time that from the 70th 71st day to the 90th day i am not giving them any graphotherapy i'm asking them to reproduce a paragraph from any book or anything that they want to do and they will write that and send it to me so just to inculcate that habit of you know bringing it into their own handwriting every day and when i ask for a sample from my clients i so in my 30 day i do a sample after 15 days and then at the end of 30 days so just to see what is the progress for my 90 day program again an initial sample which is basically i don't do a 90 day straight i do a 30 days because i want to set the foundation and then i take them through the 90 days so for the 90 days after the first 30 days there's a sample which comes in after 45 days there's a sample that comes in and there so i mean 45 days depends if if i feel that there's a need and then we i sort of make down from the 46 day i make them write down certain strokes which need to be sort of incorporated you know so uh, that is that is what i do and i give them the graphotherapy what needs to be done but i also ask them to send me a handwriting sample of what they are actually writing rather than just the uh, you know the the three paragraphs that you give us Amazing. because then it makes me aware of how much are they actually incorporating it in their own everyday handwriting whether they are actually doing that or not hey, we got a lot of ideas from anirudh there how many of you actually got present to that you know i believe what in what you just said you know let's make leaders out of them rather than making followers out of them so rather than making them dependent on you you're actually making independent of themselves you know i think i think that's a great idea okay so look at you know if you are working with a client this is for all the coaches out there if you uh, okay those of you don't know we have something called as 30 days coaching book we also have 90 days coaching material so anirudh ji is actually talk him at both the things so when you're working with a client for 30 days and in the last 5 days or 7 days if you can ask them to tell you what do you think they you have not written properly that actually becomes a conversation point where you enroll them to continue fixing this in the 90 day graphotherapy brilliant idea and even in the 90 day graphotherapy you're asking them to get more present to writing paragraphs sentences has it become natural part of your writing are you still being conscious that because you're not able to get some results out of it hey i think it's a brilliant idea see this is the best part about you you're a coach you understand how it works so you take a science you make it more awesome right so anirudh what are your charges for just learning from everyone in the community <laughs> true we are blessed to have a community like that right so action takers anirudh uh, tell us a little bit about your charges for your clients what you're doing because uh, how how many days you have started being a master practitioner because the last update we have from you is uh, we got Uh, 97000 rupees as you earning and you got six coaching clients tell us a little bit about this please so imran uh, for me i think it's been 3 months i think that i've maybe 4 months since i actually started the journey with you 4 5 months i i mean i don't remember the zack for another let to another let to another and and here i am all thanks to you so for my 30 day program i am currently charging 11000 plus gst and for my 90 day program i am charging 75000 plus gst wow yeah that's equivalent to the fees of our ip program so can you see that one client settles all your investment to it so anirudh thank you for inspiring all of us thank you for being an amazing person yourself and thank you for acknowledging that this actually helped you first and then you actually started helping others so that's a beautiful thing which i'm going to take back from this conversation Thank you for being such an inspiration and thank you for being who you are and inspiring not only your company members and many more people like and I'm sure all of us in this session right now also got a lot of value from your conversation. Thank you Anirudh. Thank you Imran, thank you and thank you for really being who you are, you know, helping each and every one of us move forward in life.